I'm Tom Crellin. I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at the Mackey Don Oxford Tropical Medicine Research Unit in Bangkok, uh, working in the Bacteria Resistance Analysis Group, which is led by Ben Cooper. The group in general focuses on the transmission uh, of bacterial pathogens, uh, mainly in hospital settings, um, and looks for interventions uh, to, to combat the spread of resistant organisms. My research focuses on a carriage study of uh, multi-drug resistant bacteria from a children's hospital in Cambodia. And what we aim to do is to establish um, risk factors for transmission and acquisition of, of the pathogens, and also to, to model uh, the impact of interventions to reduce the spread of antimicrobial resistance. So the work brings together epidemiological uh, and genomic data. So that's, that's, that's patient level data collected in the hospital by clinicians and sequence data of the, of the bacteria itself. Uh, and what we aim to do is to use this data to reconstruct a transmission networks. So who infected whom? And that can lead to questions like, uh, you know, what makes someone more likely to transmit a pathogen or, or what makes someone likely to spread it on to multiple people to you know do do we see evidence of super spreading in these hospital settings for instance we've observed this in a, in, in major outbreaks so uh, in viral pandemics such as ebola and sars uh, we see this pattern and but it's 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 not very well understood in hospital acquired infections uh, whether it's this pattern that's driving transmission or not certainly an, an early observation is that you know, obviously patients that stay the longest are the most likely to both acquire, uh, acquire infections and, and pass them on to other people. And we also want to explore the effect of, of a probiotic uh, which was used uh, when, when, when children arrived in the hospital to reduce the risk of acquiring infections. And we need to yeah, quantify exactly how effective that was. So hospital acquired infe infections are a major problem, particularly in Southeast Asia, um, this, where the prevalence of multi-drug resistant bacteria is extremely high. In the carriage study that we're working on, we observe that almost all children become infected with uh, multi-drug resistant bacteria uh, during their stay. Over 6% of people arrive with, with multi-drug resistant organisms and the rest are generally colonized during their stay. Um, so it's very, very high prevalence. Um, and this leads to challenges in, in control and during clinical episodes, it can be difficult to treat because it's, they're resistant to so many antibiotics. In this region, uh, we face the challenge that people are generally wealthy enough to afford antibiotics, but they may not be controlled by prescription. So it leads to very high rates of antibiotic usage, and this really drives uh, resistance in this area. So being here in Bangkok, uh, we really have access to uh, a lot of study sites in this region. These areas are, are both hotspots for antimicrobial resistance in, in hospitals um, and it's, it's, it's a major problem in this area but it's also understudied uh, and it, it's challenging to get really good data from this region so th through this through the Oxford Tropical Network we have very strong very strong links uh, which aids, aids us in both sample collection and, and getting good data for analysis. Using data from these studies uh, we can build uh, say simulations or models that allow us to investigate the impact of different interventions. So if we can build simulations that effectively reconstruct the, the conditions of that hospital, we can investigate the impact of interventions in a very, in a very low cost way. And, and, this, and this can then allow us to decide what we think will be the best interventions to use, uh, and that will inform future clinical trials. We, we relay our results back to the clinicians in the hospitals that carried out these studies and they can make decisions based on our results and, and modify their clinical practice accordingly. But also, you know, antimicrobial resistance is a, is a global problem. And although Southeast Asia is a major hotspot, uh, it's underrepresented in terms of data and research. So our results uh, are important in feeding into the global conversation and, and awareness about, about drug-resistant uh, bacteria globally.